our volunteers cover such a wide range of ages, abilities, previous experience from people who know exactly what they're doing and they're sharing their skills with other volunteers, right through to people who are completely new to the area or new to nature conservation. And uh, anyone who's interested in volunteering, we can find a menu of options that we can present and people can pick and choose as they wish whether it's working physically on site or whether it's working off site, helping with some of the administrative tasks, whether it's doing the, the heavier work like moving trees that have fallen down or whether it's litter picking or balsam pulling, there's something for every potential volunteer. So if you're curious, then please do get in touch with us and we'll be able to uh, meet you and get a sense of who you are, what might be right for you and we'll try and offer volunteer opportunities that suit who you are and what your level of interest and uh, experience is. And so I rang and, and then I came, uh, came down here and joined one of the work parties and it, it's a gem of a place. I loved it and I love it. And not only do I really love the area, I just love the friendly atmosphere. Everybody's, you know, just nice to talk to. Nobody pressures you too much and it, the group as a whole just has a very nice atmosphere to it, a very nice friendly atmosphere to it. And One great thing about this group is that we have so many volunteers that people can just come once or twice or, or a few times a year and that's not a problem. And like today I've been recording activities behind the scenes of what we're doing now. Um, special requests, I capture the wildlife when I can. Got the kingfisher the other week which is not a brilliant shot, but I caught it. Yeah, if you're thinking of volunteering, I couldn't recommend this group highly enough. There's Facebook presence or just getting in touch with slow-mo, any person in the group. Um, and there's many a time I felt really tired at home and I've got a thousand things I want to do and I don't really feel like talking to anybody. But there's, a, there's some sort of a commitment to the group, to the area, to the conservation. You get down here and suddenly um, everything loses its priority and you just get involved with the plants, what's surviving, what's not, what needs to be done. And just having other like-minded people around. It's a really important site because it's, it's, it's local, you can walk to it. Um, the history behind it is, is amazing when you get into it. The wildlife, there's lots of different wildlife down here. We've had uh, from errands to wrens to godwalls occasionally. Um, it's just a peaceful place. So, I mean, I work at a computer, so it's really great to have an opportunity to do work outdoors in nature where I can work with people. It's the, it's the peace, it's the quiet, it's, it's listening to the wind in the trees, it's, it's seeing the ducks and, the, and even swans from time to time. Uh, to come down here uh, every time of day, every season, it's different and it's, it's just a, a, lovely, a lovely place to be.